I've said it time and time again. Um, I believe in our group. We know we got a really good team to go up against. We can enjoy it for the night, but um, we, we said this from the beginning of the year. Last year, it was reported NBA star Jimmy Butler was moving to the Miami Heat, and yes, I mean both the basketball team and the actual city. He signed a four-year contract with the team and was on his way to South Beach. With the NBA Finals in full swing and Jimmy proving himself as one of this year's stars, he hasn't had much time to relax in his new hometown. But today, we'll take a look at a few of his properties past and present, like his Pennsylvania mansion, what we know about his current living situation, and more. We even found some of the listings. Jimmy Butler III is a professional basketball player for the Miami Heat of the NBA, who's a shooting guard and small forward. After playing one year of college basketball at Tyler Junior College, he transferred to Marquette University. He was drafted with the 30th overall pick in the 2011 NBA draft by the Chicago Bulls. Nicknamed Jimmy Buckets, he's a five-time NBA All-Star, four-time NBA All-Defensive Team honoree, and three-time All-NBA Team honoree. In 2015, Jimmy was named the most improved player in the NBA as well. With his team in the NBA Finals against the LA Lakers, Jimmy has proven himself as a star this year, and this is Jimmy's first appearance in the Finals. However, Jimmy's journey to success hasn't been all that easy. It began with his mother kicking him out of the house at a young age, and he had to beat the odds to make his dreams come true. Over the course of his NBA career, Jimmy was pushed to his physical limits in Chicago, misunderstood in Minnesota, and heartbroken in Philadelphia before arriving in Miami. He has never felt happier or more fulfilled than during this past year with the Heat, but but he knows that he must reach another level to shock the world. Forbes estimates Butler's current net worth at about $27 million, with an annual salary of $19.9 million, and he's made the list of world's highest paid athletes as of 2020. Not to mention, Jimmy earns around $3 million more from endorsements, working with brands such as Aqua Hydrate, Beats by Dr. Dre, Bonobos, and more. Of course, Jimmy has been staying in Miami because of his contract with the Heat. However, there isn't much information on where he lives here. It was also reported that during the early days of the pandemic, the athlete was staying in San Diego. Jimmy explained in an Instagram live appearance about his quarantine days. Another day in the life, so bored, it's the same thing every day for me. We're in California, we wake up early as, so like we normally train at 5.30 a.m. and then we have not anything to do for the rest of the day, literally. Hey guys, it's Kara and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. With the Miami Heat in the finals right now, I figured why not look at one of the NBA stars this season, Jimmy Butler, and where he calls home. We'll check out a Pennsylvania mansion he previously lived in, his luxury condos in Chicago, and more. You guys can write his homes down in the comments. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell for notifications. We've also done house tours in the likes of Anthony Davis of the Lakers and OG NBA star Scottie Pippen, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now, let's get into this video. Although Jimmy still owns some real estate in Chicago, while playing for the Bulls, he used to live in a lavish mansion in River North. In 2017, the home came on the market and it was enormous, spanning 10,000 square feet of space with six beds and 5.5 baths. Jimmy paid 4.3 million for the home back in 2015 and then listed it for 5 million. Jimmy's previous Chicago mansion was located on a quiet tree-lined street and offered a winding, classic-looking staircase through it. Completed in 2008, the house featured a nouveau chateau exterior and matching interior appearance, with the staircase being built custom. There was also an elevator to get around in case those stairs were too intimidating. Other features included a cozy office, study room, a rec room complete with full bar and billiards table, and a 750 bottle wine cellar. Since the home was in the city, there wasn't much land or yard space around it, but there were multiple outdoor decks and terraces to make up for that. While Jimmy no doubt enjoyed this mansion during his time with the Bulls, once he was traded, he didn't need such a huge space anymore. A couple years back in 2018, it was reported that Jimmy was keeping some Chicago real estate. Although he was done playing with the Chicago Bulls, he bought the second of two $1 million plus loft condominiums that he purchased at a 41 unit River North building. River North is a lively neighborhood in the near north side of the city, boasting luxury shops and restaurants. Jimmy had two apartments in the recently built Skyrise, but listed one of them for 
1.45 million. In February 2018, Jimmy bought a first floor unit in the building, which he still owns to this day, that cost him 1.19 million. The second one that Jimmy sold cost him 1.239 million, and it was on the fifth floor. Inside, it spanned 1,633 square feet with three beds and two baths. There were hardwood floors throughout, custom Italian cabinets, and a private elevator entrance. Although this one was nice, the unit Jimmy kept is even more spacious and luxe. Although he's not a Chicago native and only stays there sometimes, he really likes the building. His Chicago condo has exposed brick walls, high ceilings, and a ton of privacy fit for a star athlete. It's a high-end building to say the least. More recently, in 2019, the Camp Woods estate, as listing materials call it, was put on the market, and Jimmy used to live here as well. It was rumored that Jimmy bought the home for $6 million, but other sources claim he was renting the place. Whatever the case may be, while playing for the Philadelphia 76ers last year, Jimmy was living lavish in this historic mansion. Once he went to his current team, this mega home was listed for a cool $6.8 million. If you thought his Chicago house was impressive, wait till you see this place. Located in Ambler, Pennsylvania, just 16 miles from downtown Philly, this home is literally on the same grounds George Washington and his troops lived on in the 1700s. The mansion was built in 1913 as a wedding gift for a young couple. The lot spans a whopping 7.8 acres and the estate was reimagined and expanded more recently by architect Renee Hoffman and custom builder Great Estates Inc. Jimmy's previous residence combined the best of modern living and old world charm with upgraded systems while keeping the historic details of the home. The beautiful mega mansion spans 14,000 square feet inside with six beds and seven baths. It was totally my kind of house, a girl can dream. The tree-shaded property offered a gated entrance with stone columns and a circular driveway in front of the house. Walking in, there was a light-filled entry hall leading to a formal entertaining spaces and cozy family rooms. There were white oak floors, a gorgeous stone finishes, and custom windows that replicated the originals from 1913. This spacious Eden chef's kitchen had professional-grade appliances and a butler's pantry. Jimmy's Mansion also boasted features like five fireplaces throughout, a home movie theater, a wine cellar, a custom dog grooming area, which is a feature I'd like, and even an elevator. Take the stairs or the elevator upstairs and you'll find Jimmy's previous master suite. The spacious room offered an attached lounge area with walkout terrace, marble ensuite bath with bay window overlooking the yard, and a huge dressing room. There were a ton of upgrades like state-of-the-art security throughout, 28 zones of radiant heat, and 13 zones of chilled water cooling systems as well. The indoor and outdoor spaces blended well and there was a huge 5,000 square foot stone terrace with salt water pool out back. Other outdoor highlights included two fireplaces and many spots to dine and enjoy the landscape. The home comes with furnishings and the art collections specially chosen by the owner, according to the listing. If Jimmy was just renting the place, it would have cost him about 20k per month, but I can see why. Now that's a hard residence to talk. Unfortunately, information on where Jimmy has moved to is slim to none. We can assume he's renting a gorgeous property in Miami considering he's playing for the heat. However, we also know he was spending a lot of the early quarantine days in San Diego. If his previous properties are anything to go by, we can safely assume that wherever Jimmy's living is nothing short of lavish and mansion sized. After seeing his Chicago condo and his former mansions there and in Pennsylvania, what would you guys rate them? Which was your fave? Be sure to tell me in the comments down below. My fave was definitely the spot in Pennsylvania. I mean, the history alone was enough to win me over and the classic look of the mansion. I've also recently started an at-home channel where I featured my house tour and much more, and we'll post a video every Sunday. We'll link you my latest one, and I would love it if you subscribe. These are like some of the only flavors I'll chew though. Peppermint, bubble mint, and like another mint one. I also can't chew fruit gum. It makes me sick and nauseous. I don't know why. Is anyone else like that or just me? Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know whose house tour is up next. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.